this is Mike with All Day 3D RC Reviews. Uh, bringing you the Blade 300 CFX. Uh, in previous videos I had the uh, Blade 360 CFX and uh, 180 CFX and now I have the 300 CFX. The uh, reason I bought the 300 CFX is because of the 360 and the 180. Uh, I've got, had plenty of fun with, the, with those two figured I'd go ahead and get the 300, assuming that what I was getting would be somewhere along the same lines as the other two. And I gotta tell you, I'm not impressed with it at all. It's just so much slack in the head, even though it's all aluminum, nicely done, the swash plate looks good, all that stuff looks good, but there's just so much slack between the head, the swash plate, leggages, and the anti-rotation anti brackets, just side to side play through here. Uh, there's a lot of play in the blades right here. Uh, all the links have slop on and everything. So it's just, if it flies okay. Uh, I'll say that it does fly okay, but it doesn't fly like the other two. You know, uh, the other two were definitely worth my money buying, and this one here, I feel that uh, it, it wasn't worth uh, wasn't worth anything to be honest with you. But I do like. Y'all look at a helicopter, and I know helicopters can be modded and all this other stuff. And, and if y'all have any suggestions or, or sites that I can go to to get modifications for it, so that I can take all the slop out of it, uh, I'd appreciate it. Leave me a comment or leave me a website. Either way, um, if y'all have any suggestions on what I can do to, to if y'all have done anything with it and, and it's worked, uh, tell me about it. Let me know so I can I can get this one going. That way I can. At least try to have some fun with it, you know, the, the 360, I have the 360 right here. This one right here, I'm waiting for the battery to charge up. Uh, I absolutely love that one. That, that thing flies so great. And I just, it was well worth 500 bucks, I'll tell you that. But this review is not on that one, it's on this one. Uh, I really can't say too much about this one, y'all, except that the frame is, is well built. The frame is well built. Uh, tail is exactly the same as the, the 360. It's all plastic, you know, plastic grips and uh, plastic tail pitch slider, and it's weighted just like the 360. Um, the difference that I can see between uh, the 300X and the 300 CFX is is the frame and the motor layout. Of the 300X, the motor's on top, and, and on the CFX, it's down at the bottom. I will be upgrading the uh, ESC to uh, a Castle 25 uh, Talon, but before I do all of that, I want to get modifications for the head. I'm going to get all of the slop out of here, because that's, I mean, look at that. That's just a lot. That, that is way too much. Now you do this one, this one here, you know, barely, hardly any. But you don't feel that when you fly. This one here, you feel it. Um, when you're in a hover, you just hover nice and steady like this, it'll all of a sudden go real fast by itself. You correct for it, sometimes uh, two, two minutes or so goes by, you, you won't even have the problem, and then you start hovering again, and then all of a sudden you, it, it does it again. Uh, I, I don't believe it's something with the uh, AR-7200. Uh, I believe it's because of all the slop in the head or, or something, I don't know what the deal is. But you can manage it, it will fly. It's not like terribly all over the place. I have done some pure flips and, and uh, uh, flew inverted, upside down, reverse, you name it, I've done it. Uh, but that was it. I don't want to ramble on too much. I just wanted to bring y'all a quick review on this. Um, I'll show y'all the frame if y'all haven't seen it. Stick that over there. The frame is no different than. Uh, the 360 or the 180, you know, it's all carbon fiber. It's got the, the servo geometry, bearing blocks. Everything's laid out nice and pretty. The head looks good. Carbon fiber blades, carbon fiber tail fin. You know, it all looks good, but it flies like crap. <laughs> so, and I say crap to me because I'm used to flying uh, a lot more agile machines. This one here would be perfect for a beginner getting into collective pitch or, or uh, Somebody trying to 
that's already flown collected fish, maybe a, a mini CP or something like that, and wants to go to something a little bigger to, to their skills. But this is definitely not something that you can slam around the sky right out the box because the plastic gear servos, they strip, they break. You know, that's something I don't get either. Is, is it comes with metal. This one here comes with plastic geared servos with metal arms, and you get metal geared servos on 360 with plastic arms. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of like Blade or, or Horizon, kind of put money in places where they didn't need to put it, and, and should have put it where they where they really needed it. So until then, I'll bring y'all flight flight review on this. Uh, maybe y'all can see what I'm talking about in in the video. Uh, if y'all like my videos, please subscribe, like, share them, leave me a comment. Until then, y'all take care, have fun flying, and I will see y'all next time.